Well, good morning, Sunday morning, and uh, we're ready to hit the road back to Auckland from beautiful Taupo. So, yeah, it's just gone eight o'clock, gonna go downtown and get a breakfast, and then uh, we'll be hitting the road via Rotorua. We're not gonna go back the way we came down, obviously due to the roadworks and everything, so. Yep, I think it's time to go. After an awesome feed at Dixie Browns on the lakefront of Taupo, it was time to hit the road again. This time up Broadlands Road to bypass any traffic on the main State Highway 5 to Rotorua. As you can see, the road was pretty empty, although it was still early morning and most road trippers were still contemplating their breakfast. Broadlands is a great bypass if you want to head to Rotorua from Taupo. The road is good and it's generally quiet and has some great farming communities to pass through along the way. The bypass is about 43 kilometers long and takes about 30 minutes cruising at the speed limit. I rejoined the main road and headed for Rotorua and immediately the traffic was noticeable. In another 30 minutes I was in Rotorua heading for the Auckland turnoff at State Highway 5. Rotorua is a tourist town in North Island, New Zealand famous for its geothermal activity and natural sites. Roto meaning lake and Rua meaning two, or in this case, second. Rotorua thus meaning second lake. It is a major destination for both domestic and international tourists. The tourism industry is by far the largest industry in the district. It is well known for its geothermal activity and features geysers, notably the Pohutu geyser at Whakarewarewa and the hot mud pools. This thermal activity is sourced to the Rotorua caldera in which the town lies.
last I was back on the Waikato Expressway to Auckland, where the speed limit is raised to 110 km per hour and the road surface is bearable, for now anyway. This piece of motorway links Cambridge, Hamilton, Huntley and Auckland together in the south of Auckland and goes as far as Walkworth in the north. It would be cool if we had the same kind of highway at 110 km an hour all the way to Wellington, but I guess that's too much to ask for. Oh well. What would an expressway be without its own set of nothing happening roadworks? Cruising down the 18 and the last couple of k's, I neared my final destination and home. This had been a great run and a chance to get the beast's mileage up so that I can get her to her first service interval at 1600 kilometers. Yes, you heard right, she's now due her first service. It's like a birthday party for a one-year-old, except for a Harley. The weather had been perfect and I longed for the next run. Sadly, that won't be until March next year, as I'll be in Wales for the next couple of months. Time to put her to bed and switch on the surveillance cameras. The technology that we have available today, like satellite tracking and intrusion detection systems, is a great nanny for the beast and I know she'll be well protected until I return. Thank you all for watching and supporting the Roaming Kiwi so far and until we meet again, take care and have fun.